Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth from AboveRubyStudio.com and AboveRubies.ctmh.com and I wanted to make a card using this new steampunk, steampunk scoundrels. I always like mess that up somehow when I say it. I just really like it a lot and I'm excited to use it and I wanted to make a card with it to say Happy Halloween. I'm going to use my Chevron embossing folder and I'm going to use this beautiful paper from Nevermore. I need at least 20 more sheets of just this piece alone. But I'm going to cut it out to use a little bit of a card. I love the chandelier in it and the flower background and then there's the crow with the kind of flourishes in it. <sighs> love. Anyway, I'm going to use that on the card. I'm also going to use my Chevron folder and I'm just using a blank card base. I'm going to use my ebosser. So I'm going to put this in sideways. I don't want to emboss the back of the card. And I'm just going to feed this guy right on through. I just haven't used I just haven't used my ebosser in a while or the embossing folders in like videos especially forever so oh that looks awesome oh my gosh look how cool that is oh flipping amazing amazing you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my oh yeah this is not coordination's paper but it is white core so when you sand on top of it, this is just a nail buff block. Yes, see the white pop out. Beautiful. So I'm going to start, I'm actually really just eyeballing this. I wanted some of the crow more than anything else, but I kind of want some of this orange. So I'm just kind of cutting and playing at the moment. And then we'll size on the card. I'm not like too terribly worried about it. Okay. I'm going to take my color cocoa over top and I'm going to kind of distress and colorize this a little bit further. Some of that white's gonna go away. That's okay, I'm gonna get the edge. Still leaving some of the white out and I'm like just kind of pouncing it on there, okay? I am going to use this on the edges. All right, and then I'm going to grab, this is Whisper. And I'm going to cut a little bit of this guy down. I'm not exactly sure what size he's going to turn out to be. Needs to be smaller than that, though. I'll tell you that. We're going to place it on there like this. This is going to say... Do I want to use the bat or the spider? I'm going to use the spider because she has a crown. Do you see that? The spider has a crown. I love it. I don't know. I am so not a Halloween person, and I say this every year. I do. I think every year at Halloween, I'm like, I'm not a Halloween person, and then I get like the most excited over the Halloween projects I make. <laughs> and cards. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's not that I'm against Halloween. Like, I do trick-or-treating with the kids. Like, like I get more excited over fall and, and like, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday of all time, and I don't know, but I like it. It's fun. Okay. And I'm still using the cocoa. And I'm just going to write boo. Well, I'm not writing boo, I'm stamping boo down there. And then what I'm going to take from this bat, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a, I'm going to take some of the like gears from this awesome little bat here. Actually, let's go on the back of this. And I'm just going to stamp it off once. And then I'm going to stamp down again like that. I'm just going to kind of go around the edge with the wing a little bit but I'm not doing it full strength. Like I'm just going in there 
with enough color to give it a little bit more to my design. So I'm stamping off on this first and then coming up around. You could do both sides. Let's grab the other side of the bat wing here. And make sure it curves around. That's awesome. It's so completely awesome. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. This is going this way, so it doesn't matter. Did I say I was going to do it like this? I think I'm going to do it so that none of that gets cut off, but this side gets cut off. And then I'm going to cut some of this off here. Yes. And I need, I need, need, need my new gold foil. Where's my gold foil? Where'd it go? Oh, my new gold foil tape. Oh! This is gonna be awesome, love it. Okay, let's adhere this together. Okay, guess that glue ladder is empty, of course it is. I always run out like right in the middle of a video. I never seem to run out when it's like just crafting alone and quick changeover. Not that it's not. Glue Arts makes it obviously incredibly easy to quickly change things over. All right, I'm gonna just flip this over and not cut into the card at all, but trim off that edge. Okay. This is gonna go right down there. This foil is incredible and I need a couple, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's literally adhesive backed um, metallic foil. Okay, I'm just gonna place a strip of it down. It takes on the shape of the card. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Nerding out over this. Just like the other card I did, I'm gonna take that remainder and I'm going to kind of stick it out from that side there. Did that with the shimmer trim and I really liked how that looked, so we'll do it with the foil tape too. Why not? Don't let anything waste. <clears throat> My final piece is going to be these bronze buttons. They're in a couple different sizes. I don't remember which kit they're from. I should. I should, but I don't. And I'm going to use the three sizes. Right on down just to give it a little bit of added dimension. And I feel like I feel like I just need just a little something else to give it a little shine. I'm going to add a little bit of champagne glitter pen on here as well. Just a little bit. There's something with me that loves gold glitter at Halloween. Gold and bronze. Like, I get all, like, weirdly excited about it. Um, the way this dries, I'm actually going to follow some of the lines of the paper and highlight that. This is going to dry... Well, you'll see. I'll, I'll post a picture when it's dry. I'm following some of the lines of this orange right on here. Perfect. Just enough, just enough little bit of glimmer and shimmer. I love it. And there is our Halloween card. <sighs> Isn't that so fun? You got to pick up Nevermore and you've got to get this stamp set. If you, even if you don't love Halloween, like I don't. <laughs> I know. All right. I'm crazy. Um, I think it's just awesome. So enjoy the moments guys. Thanks so much for checking it out at AboveRubyStudio.com and you can shop today at AboveRubies.ctmh.com. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.